talking about the uh, how, how everything goes. Oh, the goes. executive orders. You need the executive orders, the executive order list. Okay. So that, that that one that one site that you were looking at only goes back to um, recent presidents, as far as I yes, saw it. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. So I'm gonna see if I can find. I saved. I did a save of executive orders. I think I I saved that s site, and if I did, I'm I'm gonna send it all to you. See if you can find guys. See if you can go to um. Um. Yeah, Fairfield. Sorry. Go ahead. Fairfield doctrine doesn't search very well. Yeah, okay. I found a good one. Uh, okay, it, good. Yeah, uh, I'm uh. Let's see. It's called the Federal Register .gov forward slash forward slash presidential hyphen documents forward slash executive hyphen orders. Does it list all the executive orders historically in the timeline? Um, it no. It lists them by president. Okay. Go back to Lincoln. Scroll down to Lincoln and see if you find Executive Order One Hundred. So the top of this document says general order. I don't know if that means, you know, maybe that it doesn't get listed because it doesn't say executive order. I don't know. Good question. I'm searching my entire thumb drive for executive orders because I thought I saved and maybe the same one that um Antoinette's looking at well I probably isn't because it's really kind of convoluted now Let, let's see um when you when you go past Clinton all right so I want to do President Lincoln and it's it's uh Executive order. Dang it. When you get an opportunity, go to 2016 Law War Manual updated. What's the date? 2016 Law War Manual. So what that does is that tie that's your Lieber code from 1863 up to current. And that is where okay. Derek Johnson, the documents.info, Derek Johnson talks about what's going on with the military. And the military is supposed to be doing a cleanup in aisle six, and the military is always subordinate to the civil power. And supposedly there's like military tribunals going on and that January 6th thing was all about getting intel on bad people in the Capitol like Nancy Pelosi's computer so on and so forth that was a, that whole thing was a setup right but the, but private and public is in that document and now we got to go to Black's Law Dictionary public and private and look up you know what it says. Let's do that. So executive orders were originally called general orders. It looks like. I don't know. Yeah, because I found a site that goes back to George Washington. You okay. did. I did. Okay. Here, let me let me um, let me copy the link and put it in the message in the chat. Okay, you can read it to me, uh, too, because I'm online. Okay, so that's presidency dot uncle charlie sierra bravo ucsb dot edu. One more uncle time. Char <laughs> uncle Pre charlie sierra bravo ucsb 
Presidency goes in the front of that. Got it. Wow. Okay. And you can search. Yep. Okay. So we're searching for eight. I'm looking for 1863. Well, that's quite the I search bar. I, I, I started from the last thinking that it's, you know, going to be closer to that side. And so it, it's, um, let's see, 1863. That is quite the search bar. I've never seen anything like this. I have to take a break. I'll be back in a minute. Okay. April 24th, 1863. So I'm in October. I can go a little bit earlier. Can, you can't search it by the name of the document? I don't know. You can try that. I just thought I'd look. It's L-I-E-B-E-R, correct? Yes. But then he said that uh, War Manual is the updated version of the Libra Code. So, April. Okay. October. I just found uh, when I when I punched in Libra code, it gives me Proclamation 108, Amnesty and Reconstruction. I wonder if that's it. December 8, 1863, and I did not put any date. No, this one is April 24th, 1863. That's when the Libra code was signed. That's the docu. That's the date on the document that Andy sent me. It's not here. It's not here. So is it is executive order 100 in the executive orders in this list ladies it, I've got it's general order and it's not in the list no the only Thank thing you. That, the only thing that came up was uh proclamation 108 amnesty and reconstruction so ladies now let's prove what i just said it should be there uh, thank you now go to your search engine and everybody will probably use a different search engine and type in executive order 100 and watch it come up. New York city government. Uh, nope. I'm not saying anything. Oh my I've gosh. Got, oh my gosh, look what I got. <laughs> I got I got the Libra code in Wikipedia. Ta-da! What? <laughs> okay. So there the must be Yes, go ahead. The Libra Code of uh, April 24, 1863, issued as General Orders Number 100, Adjutant General's Office. 1863 was an instruction signed by U.S. President Abraham Lincoln to the Union forces of the United States during the American Civil War that dictated how soldiers should conduct themselves. Let me see. Thank you. And mm -hmm. it, there, therefore, it denotes private, all those private mentions. Because what does the Constitution say in every state and federal? The military shall always be subordinate to the civil power. But you got to know what your civil power is and if you're in the private or in the public. Because if you're in the public, they're going to treat you like a slave. I yield. Okay, so before this document... 
Um, this is the document that made uh, us be subservient under uh, military and police and all that. Is that right? No. Okay. I'm trying to understand. That, doc that document told the American, that told the military from 1861, now we're at 1863. So we've right. had two years, we got a mess on our hands here. There's a war going on. Military, this is how you need to conduct yourselves. Because we're under martial rule, martial law. We got a brand new thing happening. Military, here's how you have to conduct yourselves. Which is so, what? You're going to have, have to read it, or we're going to have to read it. Privates right. mentioned 14 different times. I'm just wondering when things, uh, what this, what. What was the uh, impact of this document um, from here that on out? The, that was the start of how the de facto was going to treat us. That's what I thought. Okay. And now when you get into the 13th Amendment, read it. Read the 14th Amendment, read it. Read the 1866 U.S. Civil Rights Act. Derek Johnson put me on to that. With the response by Andrew Johnson, the president, who was a Democrat. When you read the 1866 U.S. Civil Rights Act, you'll see the common law mentioned, which means we can revert back to the common law. And with Johnson's response, he said how the waters would be muddy from the federal government inserting themselves all over. Mm -hmm. and, and that's where the start of the judges and the police, you'll get that there. And then it'll tighten up even more in the D.C. corporate charter, February 21st, 1871. So the timeline, the de facto total screw over is the South walking out, March of 1861, April 24th, 1863, Labor Code, 1865, 13th Amendment, 1866, U.S. Okay, Civil Rights Act. Okay, wait, what was that one before the, that you said just before this? I got everything else. South marched out, Labor Code. 1865 13th Amendment, 1866 U.S. Civil Rights Act, 1868 14th Amendment, eight, February 21st, 1871, D.C. Corporate Charter, 2nd uh, Constitution. Constitution of the United States. So what was the 1861 one that you mentioned, the very first? South walked out. Lincoln got a, Lincoln oh, was put in South office the beginning of March, and within two to four weeks, the South walked out. Okay, Congress was left hanging. Yeah, then now they have to do something. That's when de facto starts. In right. fact, the reality existed but it was at the downhill slide because it was all created and premeditated to send us to hell. Yeah, all planned. So right, so 18... let me read. Go ahead, Go read ahead. it again. Just do read it again. I got it. I just do this off the top of my head. My friend told me the other day, he says, Andy, you can do this because you don't have stupid and fraud and lies and games in your head. Therefore, you got more room for truth. I said, that's a very interesting take on things, Todd. Uh, that could be. So, so March of 1861, Lincoln elected. March of 1861, South walks out. The war, civil war. We have to do something. What do we do? Martial rule, martial law. April 24th, 1863. April what? April 24th, 
That's the lever code. Yes, no. that's the lever code. Okay. So then what? Lincoln gets shot. Then we have Johnson, his vice president's put in office. We have the 1865 13th Amendment. We have the 1866 U.S. Civil Rights Act, we ha which mentions the common law, and that's the start of police and judges and all that crooked stuff. Okay, and 18... The government. All right, sorry, 1865, the 13th Amendment, and then after that was... 1866 U.S. Civil Rights Act. Got it. That's where you start with the police and the judges and the federal government and inserting themselves at the state and the county and the village and all of that. Yes. Hey, how you doing? Reading. Darmedric. 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 I apologize. I'm talking about public and private. Yeah, yeah. I was um I was on the call for a minute. I was just had a quick question. Yeah, is this uh is someone documenting this? Because right yes. now I'm currently uh we are okay. We are. Are you watching okay. what I'm writing? Okay. No. Um, I can't see what you write. It's a document up on war document uh department right now. Yeah. Yeah, Labor Code, Executive Order One Hundred. So 1868, 14th Amendment. That's where everybody thinks they're a U.S. citizen and none of you are. 1871 D.C. Corporate Charter. And that kind of ties together the Labor Code, 13th Amendment, the 1866 U.S. Civil Rights Act, the 14th Amendment, and now your brand new Constitution of the United States. And what was the reason why Lincoln got shot again? Just clarity. Well, his, his wife was a Rothschild. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Oh, really? Lincoln had talks of, we have all these issues. We took all these black people from Africa. What do we do with them? So one of Lincoln's ideas with that is, we need to allow them to go back to Africa. If they want to go back to Africa and they want to be free, we need to allow them to go back to Africa. So they, you know, slavery, you may sense. not like, you may not like what I'm going to hear, but I'm real and I don't pull any punches. The Bible from beginning to end was full of slavery. So here's the option. When you're at war, you either kill the people that you win over or you enslave them. It's that simple. So let's talk about slavery. Who ran all the slave ships? Does anybody know who owned and ran all the slave ships? And I said all. Does anybody know what people group owned and ran and negotiated all the slave deals? What people group did that? Does anybody know? I would guess British, but I don't know. Think more nefarious. Think the most nefarious of all, and you'll come up with the answer. Rothschild. Roman oh, Catholic. Or Rothschild. Fake Jews. Oh, Kazarians. <laughs> they owned the ships. They sailed the ships. Phoenicians. Uh, Phoenicians. Yes. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found, was blind, but now I see. Who sang that song? He was one of the captains. He ended up accepting Christ as the Savior. So let's look at Africa. They're at war, tribes, everything else. So what's going on, you know? Uh, what's going on? Well, there's wars. What do you do when you're in a war? You either kill all the people you win against or you sell them into slavery. So the people
people that wanted to traffic people went down to Africa, had people down there negotiating with the winners of the war, and they took all the enslaved people and they shipped them to America. Now, I'm not saying anything this, any of this was right, but you, folks, you know this is what happened. So, if See, you have was, a track, go ahead. What was the war going on in Africa? There's wars all the time. Who knows what people war about? Yes, tell us what they say. Tell us what they say. Resources, probably. Yeah. So there was a war going on in Africa. We're not talking Africa proper. We're talking here, there, and everywhere. You know, okay. there's not roads and trains through Africa and subways. They don't have that. So regionally and everything else, who knows what was going on? People were fighting each other. Who knows what they did? So you have all these people that are, you know, there's a war. What, what does a king do? What did Solomon do? It's the wisest man in the world. God's favor was on the Hebraic people. He got wives from all over the world. He had 700 wives and 300 concubines. That makes treaties and alliances, you see. So bad people with bad intentions went to Africa, got these people, rounded them up, put them on ships, sent them to America. Now, there's two ways of looking at this. If you got a horse, if you have a tractor, you own anything. What do you want to do? You want to be a steward of it. So now the people are in America. What do you do with them? Well, anybody that's God-fearing does the right thing and treats people respectfully and humanely and so on and so forth. If you got a man that's godless, that doesn't know God, and he doesn't have a brain, he's going to abuse and mistreat and so on and so forth. So some of the slaves were probably taken care of the way they should have been, and others were abused and misused. And, and now we have, you know, foreign interests want to abuse America. So how do you do it? Well, initially they used the Native Americans with the fur trade, with the French, which were under British control in Canada, and they worked with the Natives to work against the Amer American people. So then they saw this issue we had with the blacks in America and slavery. And so then they used that to screw over the American people. So Lincoln realized this. Towards the end of his career, we've been told in our assembly that he was coming around and wanted to do the right thing. This is one of the things that he had in mind. See, he, and, and he realized the thing about gold and silver. And I think like Kennedy... He wanted to put a fix in on that, or he was using something with the green bags, and maybe that was be that was better than you know the funny money would like the Federal Reserve. So he realized something with money and banking. He kind of wanted to do the right thing by the black people in America, so they killed him. It's that simple, and he's dead. And so all of the black people in America think that they're free. They were never free. They were re-enslaved by being called U.S. citizens. A U.S. citizen is a slave and a subject. Period. So not only did they end the war, and the black people thought they were free. Why? From the pit of hell. They were enslaved as U.S. citizens because nobody knows any better. And then all the other people that weren't black were also enslaved as U.S. citizens because they didn't know any. Andy, we, Andy, sense. it totally makes sense. We have exactly 20 seconds before it's going to time out. I will promise to go ahead as soon as we're done today and uh, buy the continual things so that we have to keep doing this. But um, in the meantime, it's going to time out in 10 seconds. I'll just restart immediately if you, you guys. Back on? Yes, we're coming back yeah. on. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. All right, guys. Hang tight. Hi, Pastor Dar. Glad you're here.